In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the vector equation, parametric equations, and symmetric equations of a line if we're given the point that's on a line and the vector that's parallel to the line. And in another problem, we're going to talk about how to do the same thing if we're given two points on a line. So let's go over the basics behind this. So let's say we have a 3D coordinate system where this is x y and z and we're going to have a generic line now a line is defined by two things we need a point on a line and the direction of the line if we have those two things we could define any line so let's say that we have this point which is it has the values x zero y zero or z naught This is going to be the position vector, R0. And let's extend this point by another vector. Let's call this vector G. If we add those two vectors, if we take the vector sum of those two vectors, it will give us the position vector R, which will define the vector equation of the line. So R is the vector sum of these two vectors. Now, vector G is going to be parallel to vector V. Because they're both parallel to each other, G is going to be some scalar quantity multiplied by V. So we're going to say it's T times V. So thus, we have the vector equation of a line, which is R0. Whoa, what just happened there? It's R0 plus T times V. So this is the formula that we're going to use in order to write the vector equation for this problem. Now, some other things that you want to keep in mind is that the position vector R0 is equal to X0, Y0, and Z0. And V is defined by these values. So in this problem, A is 3, B is negative 2, C is 5 x naught is 2, y naught is 4, z naught is negative 3. So let's go ahead and work on this problem. So r naught is based on these values. So it's going to be 2i plus 4j minus 3k, and then plus t times vector v, which we can replace it with that. Vector v is going to be parallel to the line. So that's 3i minus 2j plus 5k. Now I'm going to distribute t, and then I'm going to pair up all of the, the i's, the j's, and the k's together. So I'm going to have 2i plus 3i t, and then let's put this over here, 4j minus 2j t, and then minus 3k plus 5kt. Now the next thing I'm going to do is factor out i, j, and k. So I'm going to have 2 plus 3t times i, and then plus, this is going to be 4 minus 2t times j, and then plus negative 3 plus 5t times k. So this right here is the vector equation of the line. So that's the answer. Now we need to move on to the next part. We need to find the parametric equations that correspond to this line. So this is x, this is y, and here we have a z. So to write the parametric equations, it's going to be x is equal to 2 plus 3t, and we're going to have y is equal to 4 minus 2t, and z is going to be equal to negative 3 plus 5t. Now, the generic formulas for the parametric equation are as follows. It's x is equal to x0 plus at, y is equal to y0 plus bt, 
and z is equal to z naught plus ct. So all you need in order to write the parametric equations is the point x naught, y naught, z naught, which is what we have here, and then the vector v, which is uh, a comma b comma c, which we have that here. So these are the parametric equations, which is the answer for part B. Now for part C, we need to find the symmetric equations. To do that, we need to eliminate the parameter by solving for T for each of these equations. And then we could set them equal to each other. So what we're gonna have is X minus X naught divided by A and that's going to be equal to y minus y naught divided by b, which is equal to z minus c naught divided by c. So that's the formula that will give us the symmetric equations. x naught is 2, a is 3, y naught is 4, b is negative 2, z naught is negative 3. So z minus negative 3, that's going to be z plus 3. And c is 5. So these are the symmetric equations that correspond to the line that we're dealing with. So that's it for number 1. Number 2, find the vector equation, parametric equations, and symmetric equations for the line that passes through the points 1, 3, negative 2, and 4, 1, 5. Now, in order to define a line, we need a point and a vector, or which will define the direction of the line. We don't have a vector, but we could find a vector using the two points that we have. So let's call this point A and point B. So our vector will be vector AB, and that's going to be the difference between points uh, B and A. So 4 minus 1, that's going to be 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And 5 minus negative 2, that's going to be 5 plus 2, which is 7. So that's our vector. Now, point A, we're going to say that is our standard point. So thus, we have the values x naught, y naught, and z naught. And this is going to be A, B, and C. So at this point, we have everything that we need in order to find the vector equation, the parametric equations, and the symmetric equations. Now, go ahead and try this problem based on the last example. So let's start with the vector equation using this formula. So R0 is going to be based on the point 1, 3, negative 2. So as a vector, it's going to be 1i plus 3j minus 2z. And then it's going to be plus t times vector v, which is 3i minus 2j plus 7k. So now let's factor out i, which is going to be based on those two quantities. So it's going to be 1 plus 3t times i. And then factoring out j, it's going to be based on those values. So it's plus 3 minus 2t times j. And then we're going to take out k. For some reason, I put z. This should be a k here. So that was a mistake. So taking out k from those values, it's going to be negative 2 plus 7t times k. So that's going to be the vector equation. Now, let's move on to part b. Let's write the param excuse me, the parametric equations. But we're going to use the formula 
to get the answer, even though we could find it directly from the vector equation. So x naught is 1, a is 3, so we have this, x is equal to 1 plus 3t, y naught is negative 2, no, I take that back, y naught is 3, b is negative 2, so we have that, and then z naught is negative 2, c is 7. So these are the parametric equations for the line. Now let's write the symmetric equations that describe the line. So using the formula, it's going to be x minus x naught over a, which equals y minus y naught over b, which equals z minus z naught over c. So x naught is 1, a is 3. y naught is 3, b is negative 2, z naught is negative 2, so z minus negative 2, that's z plus 2 and c is 7. So these are the symmetric equations. So that's it for this video. So now you know how to find the vector equation, the parametric equations, and the symmetric equations for a line in three-dimensional space.